Do you feel that some girls have too much talent and ability to waste on a home and children? Yes, I think many girls do. Some girls have a great deal to offer, and they certainly don't make any contribution to the business world, sitting home with their children or cooking dinner for their husbands. Go on, Miss Bates. Well, many talented girls deserve a better life than that. They need that uh, feeling of independence, of competition that they don't get at home. And they deserve the luxuries that they can buy with the money they earn. Coal dust makes breathing hard, which is why 400,000 people a year die prematurely from lung disease. And thanks to bad air, China has 16 of the world's top 20 polluted cities. Take Beijing, which just proudly said it now has 3 million cars, so clear days give way to more polluted days. And there's a new danger. Dust storms from the northern Gobi Desert used to hit once a decade. Now it's once a year. Visibility can drop to less than a city block. Miles, the question this hour is what should be done about the Army's highest suicide rate in 26 years. Lawrence in Montclair, New Jersey writes, why mince words by saying it's the highest suicide rate in 26 years? Why not put it plain and simple? The Army has the highest suicide rate since Vietnam. The parallels are abundantly clear. Failed policies, losing war, developing quagmire, corrupt Republican administration in the White House, and the answer as to how the Army should address the problem is also clear. Bring the troops home. They're the hidden cost of the nation's fascination with alcohol and drugs. A new report has found that one in eight children have a parent with substance abuse. A shocked federal government says treatment programs need to change to include not only victims but their entire families. If you've been sexually intimate with more than one partner, chances are you have the human papillomavirus. Up to 80% of people with more than one partner will test positive for it. HPV is a sexually transmitted disease. Should single parents effectively be forced back to work when their kids reach 11? And that's what Work and Pension Secretary John Hutton proposed yesterday. His idea was well, to cut the benefits bill rung up by Britain's 1.7 million single parent families. stories and police statistics confirm young teen girls today they're more out of control committing more violent crimes they're prostituting at a younger age angry teen girls living deadly lives what you're about to see is going to shock you but it's a harsh frightening reality 13 14 and 15 year old girls acting violent beating each other up in their own backyard they're also using drugs and leading dangerous sex lives. I love to start fights. I'm addicted. One time a girl tried to step up to me and I stabbed a screwdriver in her leg and I taught that not to mess with me. I prostituted my body for $50. I'm a grown ass woman and my stupid mother ain't gonna do nothing about it. I'll punch, I'll choke, and I'll kick. 
my five-year-old nephew. I don't care if he's crying. Oh, well. I love to drink, do drugs, and have sex with boys whose names I don't even know because I love being bad. Israeli pioneers like Jid Shoshani turned this land from brown to green thanks to irrigation water from the Jordan. He'll tell you it's part of his national mission. Jid Shoshani started growing vegetables for the local market more than 40 years ago. Now his sights are set on the export market and his favorite crop, mangoes. Well, it's madness. It's madness to be growing tropical fruits in the middle of the desert, be it mangoes, avocados, bananas. Um, these are water guzzlers. The Middle East is a natural desert. We cannot be the breadbasket of other continents, of other societies. But Jid Shoshani says he can grow his mangoes using less water than they need in the tropics. And they're a good little earner. The mango is close to five times more than olives. 